So here I am. It's another day of pain. So I'm going to try the free spray today. This is provided to me by my good friends Scott and Rebecca Fowler from NW Self Defense. I am also doing a giveaway for this spray and I'll put that link in the video right there. Make sure you go on that video, click the link from the date the video came open and I'll check that in a little bit. The, the date the video went online, you have 60 days to get your entry into the contest because I'm giving one of these sprays away. I'm giving away a can of Freeze NF CS and OC plus P. So um, make sure you go on that video and get your uh, entry into the contest to, to possibly win. You can get two chances to win this, this spray. Um, one by commenting in the comment section and two by being a subscriber. And if you do both of those, you get two chances to win this spray. 60 days from when that, that video came out, I'll be uh, announcing the winner for the spray. So on the video today is the Freeze Plus P review and test. Um, without getting too boring, this is essentially a uh, lab generated version of OC and pepper spray. Um, the formula that's in here is not uh, oleo resin capsicum, like derived from peppers. It's made in a lab, something called Parva or something like that. Uh, again, without getting too technical, because I'm not good with that that kind of crap. But I'm gonna get sprayed with this. I'm gonna let you know how it works. I'm also gonna be trying out some Sudicon wipes. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily gonna work on this um, because it's not derived by peppers. But again, we're gonna see. And uh, either way, it's gonna be a good time. And uh, let's get to it. That doesn't look fun. Nope. It goes kind of hard if you, if, or if you hold it. Alright, um, so this is a test of free spray. It's OCCS, um, NF for non flammable, and uh, it kind of, we were just discussing what the, the, the scent is. It kind of smells like uh, the interior wipes that you use for cleaning your car. It doesn't smell like a pepper like all the other products, so if, uh, if you get irritated by the smell of pepper, this might be a good alternative to you. Um, so I don't know. Um, now we're going to test the effectiveness. I'm just going to take a direct shot to the face. And uh, sure, it's going to suck. <clears throat> um... Hot, very hot. I'm not coughing like I thought I was gonna. Right now I can still see. <sighs> Certainly very hot. Can you get close? Is there a color to it? So, it appears to have no color. Um, right now I can see, but I can definitely see that I'm starting to tear up and uh, get affected by it now. I would have to say it doesn't have stopping power like Fox. Oh, yeah, now it's hitting my tear ducts. Um, doesn't have stopping power like Fox. Fox kind of immobilized me. I would definitely uh, compare it to uh, the Saber Red. <laughs> Voluntary closed. The spray has reached my tear ducts, and uh, because my eyes were open for the first few minutes, it, they've, it's now sweated into my into my uh, eyes. Yeah. It's manageable, though. I would. Uh, I don't smell it in the air. 
Uh, I'm snotting a little bit. I don't think that it's uh, a strong irritant. So if that's the goal you're looking for, uh, I would probably go with something else if you think that uh, an irritant is better to, to make them cough and gag and stuff. It's definitely hot though. I would say uh, as hot or, or a little bit hotter than uh, Saber Red. It's definitely in the 2 to 3 million Scoville heat unit range. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test out these wipes. Um, these wipes have uh, specific instructions. It says use more than one wipe. Use um, as many as needed. So I got two. Um, it also says to open the towelette pat not rub your eyes get the product all over your face uh, let it soak in fold the fold the towelette and do it again allow the product to penetrate the oil or the resin that's on your face let the kind of let the product work and then it also says to take a clean towelette put your head up in the air and squeeze the product onto your eyes with your eyes closed and let it kind of soak in and then place the towelette onto your face to let it cool. This is supposed to reduce the amount of decontamination time for these products. Uh, since I'm, I'm real used to these products, I can tell you um, there's typically a half hour to 45 minutes of recovery time. So if it, that reduces to 10 or 15 minutes, that's gonna be great. Uh, can't see it, but it feels like a big, big wet nap. Try not to rub and just pat the product on me. It doesn't help with the heat. I don't know if these Sudicon wipes are going to work with this stuff since it's a uh, synthetic blend. But uh, I'm hoping it does. This sucks. <laughs> we'll come back to the video when uh, I'm further along in the decontamination process. So for right now, we'll uh, shut the camera down. Okay, and that was it. Um, it's approximately 30 minutes since I did the uh, the test on myself with the uh, free spray a uh, few things price wise it's the same as any other spray it's in the it's it's compatible comparable to other sprays of its size it's a four ounce can you can get it in a smaller can but this four ounce can is uh, around $28 I'm gonna provide a link in the description where you can buy this NW um, self-defense products uh, will supply you with all your needs if you if you need this spray again I'm also giving away a can of this product I would say it's as effective as as any other pepper spray it's a good alternative to pepper if you yourself have a pepper allergy or you get irritated by really hot peppers um, there almost was no blowback as far as uh, whoever's using it um, the Sudicon wipes do they work I think they work I uh, don't think they work better than uh, tear free baby shampoo or dial dish soap um, I think they're a good alternative though um, if you were a police officer or you used them in the line of duty as far as like in your your vehicle or in your desk or something like that and you don't have the uh, ability to wash your face with Dawn it's a good alternative um, my problem with it is it's sticky um, 
it leaves this residue on you um, that feels like a mild glue. It's uh, it's weird. You, you can definitely tell the product's on you. So obviously it's designed like that, maybe to stick on your face and, and break down that, that product. But um, it's just weird. I, I don't like the stickiness of it. But, uh, you know, like like we care what the uh, assailant feels when they attack you. Now, um, Scott Fowler provided me with this can of uh, spray for you guys, and he also provided me a can for, for you guys to uh, give away. So please go to his company's website. I'm going to provide that in the description below. Um, there's a lot of information on his website. He also includes um, the laws for every state and uh, what OCs and pepper sprays that you can carry. Um legally so it's a good tool to use if you want to just go in there and, and peruse through his stuff and uh, see what he's got to offer I highly recommend his company I want to thank him for providing the these sprays for this video um, many more things to come from uh, NW self-defense products and uh, for right now uh, I'm Josh leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, we'll see you next time